Officials from the office of the president have pitched camp in Gulu City to empower RDCs and DSOs from across districts in Acholi sub-region to effectively deliver on their mandate. The three-day capacity building is aimed at improving the quality of monitoring of government programs and to ensure effective service delivery to the citizens. They are doing very well now. If you listen to the country, the challenge on land language, it is, you'll see that the office of the RDCs is, is very vibrant. And uh, one of the things that government is doing is to digitize. As we digitize, we are able to improve the quality of the information. The RDCs also have a big role to play in fighting corruption in their districts. Recently, there has been a number of complaints on corruption tendencies on the district service commissions who demand money from applicants. So for us, we have a very big role to play, SRCC, RDCs. The RDCs also raise challenges associated with the monitoring of hybrid projects, access to information and the fight against corruption. You know, the hybrid project by name and they are only sent to the district at the time of the launch. And therefore normally there is kind of a slow response that normally come from some of these contractors. But again as government, you know, RDCs have all the powers in their hands to always really put all these contractors to task so that good things are done. But in Pader, when you are trying to streamline things, these corrupt elements, you hear people saying, we want to transfer the RDC. I am doing what my father in Nakasero have said me to do. Among the facilitators included the deputy director, Iso Emi Katabazi, who presented a laboratory on the corruption as a source of insecurity. He warned the security personnel against abating corruption in their districts. When it comes to P7, 700 C, 1.3 costs, the government has been paying for them up to, then you hear the dropout rate is high. Where did the rate go? And you are not a DC there, and you are a DSO. Because in the next 20 years, those kids who are afraid to go to primary school will be made with the feelings. Also, who wants to sleep in the road the way you people do? The Secretariat also wants RDCs to intervene on the primary schools who continue to demand for money from the vulnerable parents in UPE schools. To participate in these meetings, to give parents guidance. Here, can you imagine in, your, in the city, here, the city, there are children in school, age boys who go to school. They have done this. It brought hell and heaven. When you talk, people are wow, 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 wow. So for me, this is good for me. It energizes me and people of Gulu City, watch out. This kind of retreat help us to remain steadfast. Edi Ulwa, UBC News.